Hey guys, this video is with Tim here, teaching you how to install Office on your Mac. Go ahead and proceed to office.com. You're gonna sign in with your school issued credentials. You should have set that password already. If you need help, let me know. I'll help you reset that password. Once you're logged in, this is the dashboard you should see. And in the top right, you have a button called Install Office. Click that for me. Again, a secondary prompt, install software. And all of you are admins, so you're capable of doing this on your device. So you are gonna be forced to sign in. Mine loves to not let me sign in with the appropriate user. If that happens to you, for example, sometimes I click this account and it actually takes me to this login. Uh, sign in with an incognito tab. So go file, new incognito window, and that should take care of it. You'll sign in with that account. So I'm gonna sign in. We'll see if it keeps me in this account or if it pops me into another one. Hey, it kept me in, awesome. So I'm here, you're gonna see at the bottom, we're gonna get download in just a second. Go ahead and click install office for the third time. And there it goes. So 1.7 gig, if you're on ethernet, it'll be pretty quick, just about a minute. If you're on Wi-Fi, it may be a couple of minutes for you. So we're gonna let that finish out. And then we're gonna go through and install the apps you need. It loves to install everything. We don't need stuff like Jabber, um, stuff like that. Just so you you guys know, Publisher is not offered for Mac, so don't get excited about that. If you do need a product like that, um, I highly recommend you take a course at the Orange County Library on Adobe's suite, specifically on InDesign. It's a great product. Um, it's far superior to Publisher, but it's much more challenging. Uh, but we have the licensing for that. Normally it'd be $20 a month, uh, but we can get you that for free. All right, so if you can, I'm gonna drag this window up. So I hit, I clicked on the download at the bottom. It opened up this install Microsoft Office window. Go ahead and hit continue, continue, agree. Feel free to read the terms. <laughs> and then it's gonna tell you it's gonna take up 10 gigs. That's a significant amount of your Mac. Um, I believe you guys are on 128 gigs. So it's like 10% of your Mac. All right, you do have to enter your computer login password. And you guys, as yourself, can take care of this. And then it'll get installing. It's gonna take a few minutes. It is a pretty big install, so be patient. 17 minutes, ooh, we're gonna do a round two when this finishes. All right, after it progresses through the installation, which really took about four or five minutes, not 17 like it said, you'll see this message here. You can go ahead and hit close. Move to trash is fine. It'll free up that 1.7 gigs of installer space, which is great. And you should um, be prompt here. It's gonna make you follow some processes and sign in afterwards. So okay to this. You can allow the auto update or undisable it if you want. I'm gonna keep it. That's fine. All right, so check for updates. Good. And now I'm gonna double click on uh, my finder, open up my Mac, come over to applications and you can see what it's installed. So if you look under M for Microsoft under your applications, you'll see Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, that's not included, and Word. I'm gonna actually toss Outlook to free up some space. Toss OneNote, because we're not gonna use that. Free up some space. And I'll keep Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. Those are the three primary services we want from them. And uh, the first time you sign in, I believe it will ask you to, if you open one of them up, it's gonna ask you to sign in. So I'll pop this open, let you see. 
my doc. All right, get started. Sign in. There it is. <laughs> they love to check that you're paying for it. So it is your email. You set the password. Again, I can help you reset it if you don't know it. Ooh, that's not my password. I think that's it. We'll see. Hey, there we go. Start using Word. Boom. All right, so I'm in. That's Word. So I'm going to pop open the next one. I don't think it's going to prompt me again, but we'll see. Come on, PowerPoint, you can do it. Get started. Hey, yeah, so if you pop them all open real quick because you've already signed into Word, you'll be good to go. So go ahead and pop them all open and you won't get prompt every time. Remember, when they're just sitting there on your dock with this little dot, it's still running. So you actually have to right click and quit it to actually get out of it. Start using Excel. All right, they're all three activated. So, but I'm going to quit them. I don't need them right now. I am going to move them over so they stay on my dock. There we go. One, two, three. Actually, I don't see myself using PowerPoint. So quit. Dock. There we go. Quit them all. Free up your resources. You guys are good to go. Hope you enjoyed your video.